I'm gonna talk about the hidden drivers keeping sugar high, even when carbs are low. So if you are low carb and still waking up high, check these culprits, dawn phenomenon, right? And cortisol. Early morning cortisol rises can raise glucose without a single carb. So if your evenings are chaotic, sleep is short or stress is high, your AM numbers will ratchet up and low muscle activity, right? Your biggest glucose sink is skeletal muscle. If you are sedentary, right? Insulin has nowhere to put the sugar in. Night eating and alcohol is a problem, right? Late meals or alcohol drive nocturnal hyperglycemia, which is nighttime high blood sugars, and suppress deep sleep, which makes tomorrow's insulin resistance worse. And how about micronutrient gaps? For example, magnesium is a cofactor in insulin signaling. Now, when you have low intake, you have worse insulin sensitivity. So food first, then smart supplementation if your clinician wants you to do that. Now, ultra processed foods, right? That's important. If it comes from a factory and ingredient list reads like a chemistry set, don't touch it. These foods hijack appetite, your gut hormones, and the brain's reward system, pushing insulin higher over time. Just because there's low carb on the label or on the packaging doesn't make it a healthy food.